Are you looking for the best smartwatches for women? In this video we will look at some of the 6 best smartwatches on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at Number 1. Apple Watch 6. The Apple Watch Series 6. What can I say about this piece of technology that you have not already heard? It's a high-quality smart device with a slick design, and I mean, come on, it's Apple, and we wouldn't expect any less. Even if it's a bit redundant, I will still say it, the Apple Watch is the best women's smartwatch for iPhone users. Its two different sizes mean it can fit both a small wrist and a big one. While Apple has been known for its designs in the past, I am personally not a big fan of the Apple Watch Series 6 look. There are some smartwatches on this list with better style than this one, and while its smooth frame and body do look quite unique, it cannot compare with our following two entries but we'll get to those in a bit. The Apple Watch Series 6 features a variety of case colors, including red, pink, and black, among others. They also come in a range of materials, titanium, steel, or 100% recycled aluminum material. Whatever your feelings about Apple as a company, especially after the recent feminist controversy, you cannot deny that they are at least trying to look like they care about the environment. The smartwatch also has seamless bands available in various colors and materials, including what Apple calls the Solo Loop and the Braided Solo Loop. There is also the Sport Loop and a regular traditional fitness band. Like the Sport Loop, the Solo Loop is crafted from silicon rubber, making it lightweight and comfortable to wear. The braided Solo Loop is made of silicon threads interwoven with recycled polyester yarn filaments. Lastly, the fitness band is just a typical fitness band, although it does have a pride edition, which is an instant plus in my book. But it's not all rainbows and happy times, with Apple's unique designs and state-of-the-art technology comes their terrible habit of overpricing everything by a lot, and I mean, a lot. While the watch can be pretty expensive, some of the leather bands are more expensive than most smartwatches, checking in at just over 500 bucks. In contrast, the cheapest ones are priced at around $50. Fun fact, it would actually be cheaper to buy two Apple Watch Series 6 smartwatches with a solo or sport loop than to buy a single Apple Watch with a leather band. But, if you don't care about fancy leather looks, the Apple Watch Series 6 is quite reasonably priced and has some incredible technology to boot. This includes its new always-on retina display, which gets brighter when you go outdoors, making it easier to gaze at your watch without much trouble. Trust me on this, with the countless beautiful watch faces available, you will often find yourself just staring at the smartwatch, even when you don't have to. But a beautiful face is not the only thing this watch has going for it. Like most other smartwatches, the Apple Watch Series 6 has all the fitness features and activity tracking you could wish for. This includes heart rate monitoring, a blood oxygen sensor, and an ECG app. In the mood for some exercise? The Apple Watch Series 6 has got you covered with its dance app, a hiking and cycling app, and of course, a running app. And guess what? This smartwatch also has onboard music, podcasts, and audiobooks to keep you motivated throughout your workout routine. With the activity sharing feature, you can brag about how healthy you are to your friends and family. The competition feature takes things a step further. It allows you to compare your own exercise workout with, or against, your friends and family. Beyond the scope of fitness features, the Apple Watch Series 6 also offers the ability to send and receive calls without the help of your iPhone. And with Apple's contactless payment, you don't even have to bring your wallet on errands. There is Siri, of course, which can act as your personal translator so you won't get lost in a foreign country, and the built-in Apple Maps feature will help you explore with confidence when you get a chance to travel next. However, the best feature, in my opinion, is the family setup. Suppose you are the only one in your family who has an iPhone. In that case, you can use it to pair up multiple smartwatches so your kids, parents, or grandparents can call you from their own Apple smartwatch, even if they don't have an iPhone. The Apple Watch Series 6 has quite the unique features, but it is lacking in some areas, for example, sleep tracking and blood oxygen data are not that reliable, and the battery life is really short. Not to mention that this watch and all other Apple Watch series only work with an iPhone. So should you buy it? Well, I would say it's pretty nice to have, of course, if you own an iPhone. At Number 2. Michael Kors Access Gen 5. 
If there was a rivalry in the smartwatch world, then the Kate Spade Scallop 2 and the Michael Kors Access Gen 5 would be going head to head. It may not seem like it on the surface, but trust me, these two fashion smartwatches compete for the best looking device behind the scenes. While the Kate Spade Scallop 2 focuses on fashion and a more feminine design, the Kors Access Gen 5 chooses to go a different route. This extremely wearable smartwatch was designed for a fast-paced lifestyle. Its bulky bezel and more traditional metal band give it a classical watch look and premium feel, which is only expanded upon with its AMOLED display. Rather than focusing on a mainly feminine demographic, the Kors Access Gen 5 chooses to go the unisex path. Although I said it was bulky, the watch can fit perfectly well, even on those with small wrists. Still, with this smart device, you get the feeling that you are paying more for brand recognition than anything else. Oh, and if you are willing to splurge 100 bucks more, you can get one with diamonds. The Michael Kors Access Gen 5, like the Kate Spade Scallop 2, was not designed primarily with fitness in mind. But that does not mean they don't have some pretty good fitness apps. Like the previous entry on this list, the smartwatch is powered by Wear OS and supports Google Fit. Utilizing that untethered GPS, the Michael Kors Access Gen 5 has every standard fitness tracker you'd need, tracking your running, cycling, walking, and all that good stuff. It also has an amazingly accurate heart rate sensor and a pretty damn good GPS with the perfect app to go with it, Google Maps. And with its 30-meter water resistance, it can also track your swimming, but it might bog you down a bit due to its weight. Still, it's nice to know that you can take a shower with the device or sit under a waterfall while you listen to smooth jazz. All the amazing activity trackers are great, but this watch has so much more. For starters, it is pretty near the fastest Wear OS watch out there, and like most other watches that run on the same system, you get access to Google Play and Google Assistant. Being able to use Google Assistant means that the Michael Kors Access Gen 5 has a built-in microphone, which you can use to call back your grandma, she's been ringing all day. The watch also has Google Calendar and the ability to customize your watch faces. You can combine the two and create a unique watch face from your existing events. Every time you look at your watch, you will be reminded of that work meeting, party, or whatever you like. However, one thing that's a bit lacking is its battery life. If you use the watch actively, listen to music, and scroll through Instagram, you would have to charge it every night. But don't be discouraged because the Michael Kors Access Gen 5 has some unique battery-saving options. These can extend the life of your smartwatch to a couple of days. You can choose to switch between different modes from the settings menu, like the daily mode, which will keep most features enabled while still saving a bit of battery. The extended mode also will keep your watch going for a couple of days by disabling most apps, keeping only the essentials. Time-only mode will allow you to, well, only tell the time with almost all of the features being disabled. However, the best mode has to be the custom mode, which will allow you to manage battery-saving options yourself. Want to keep an app active that all other modes disable? Not to worry, you can choose to keep that app going while you remove something that you don't use that often. So is this watch for you? Well, like everything else, it depends on your priorities and lifestyle. If you are looking for a smartwatch that would be comfortable to wear while you exercise, then keep scrolling. But if you want a watch with much to offer and high style to boot, then the Michael Kors Access Gen 5 is for you. At Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Now here is a smartwatch that has something for everyone. It doesn't matter if you love fitness or just want to live your daily life smarter, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 has got you covered. Unlike our previous entries, this watch has extensive fitness features, evident from its sporty look and feel. The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 is a round smartwatch that comes in two sizes and two versions, capable of fitting both small and large wrists. Each version has three available colors, a total of six colors to choose from, including aqua black, pink gold, and just simply gold, if that's more your style. The two versions are differentiated by their connectivity. The cheaper version has the standard Bluetooth connection, while the more expensive one has the more advanced LTE connection. However, you can take solace that both versions feature a beautiful AMOLED display. Both options have the same design with a widescreen and barely noticeable black borders, which should provide you with an uninterrupted view of your smartwatch. 
The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 has two buttons on the side and a bezel for quick access to apps and functions. Despite its sporty-looking exterior, this wearable smartwatch could be used for everything, not just working out. I can definitely see myself taking it to a fancy party or simply to work. But since we were discussing fitness features earlier, let's start with that. This is one of the best smartwatches by Samsung for both women and men. The Galaxy Watch Active 2 has all the necessary activity tracking features and then some. You have your ECG monitor and your standard heart rate sensor and monitor, not to mention a breathing and running tracker. There are apps that track swimming and even rowing. Don't worry about getting it wet, with its 50M water resistance, you can dive into the water as much as you like. Depending on how much you use the device, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2's battery life can last up to two and a half days or 60 hours. This is better than many of the other batteries on this list. Besides serving as an excellent fitness and health tool, the Samsung smartwatch can also act as your own personal assistant. It has a translator app installed that may come in handy someday and in-depth camera control. No, that doesn't mean that the watch has a camera, although it would be a pretty cool addition, it just means that you can control your smartphone's camera from the smartwatch. Of course, with a watch such as this that has everything, there are also mobile payments. You can send and receive calls without being near your phone, but that last part comes only with the more expensive LTE version. Although everything so far has been pretty awesome, there are some problems. For example, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 has very few third-party apps available as of the writing of this article. And although each offered fitness tracker is quite admirable, if you are a fitness enthusiast, you may want to check some of our other entries for access to third-party apps better suited for your hardcore fitness needs. So is this the smartwatch for you? If you are a lady who loves exercising, maybe scroll down a bit. But suppose you're an everyday gal seeking a pretty decent smartwatch from a large and established brand that is also great for casual exercise, then yes, the Samsung Women's Galaxy Watch is a great option. But consider checking our other entries, who knows, maybe you will find something else that you like. At number 4. Fossil Gen 5 Juliana. The Fossil Gen 5 Juliana is quite the fashionable piece of technology, and it actually has two different versions that go for the same price. Buyers can choose from a detailed and stylish look as well as a more minimalistic option, but not as minimalistic as the Skagen Falster 3 of course. The design and casing on this smartwatch is a little bit unique as it feels and looks slimmer than most other watches on this list. The wristband is also quite interesting, as it utilizes magnets to lock and release. I've got to tell you, this is a lot easier to put on than most other straps, I will give them credit for that. The one gaping issue with this feminine wear OS smartwatch, however, is its size. This is a big watch, so big in fact that most women and even some men won't be able to wear it comfortably throughout the day. It definitely does not fit on my wrist, I know that much. Other than its ill fit for slim wrists, the watch itself is actually designed quite well. It has a slight curve on its screen and bezel, which becomes more apparent depending on the version you choose. The dials to the side are also pleasant and nice to look at. They have a spring feel to them when pressed, and the middle crown can be used as a scroller. A fashionable, oversized design is not the only thing the Fossil Gen 5 Juliana has going for it. The smartwatch is also quite adept at tracking your workouts. With a damn good untethered GPS and a decent heart rate sensor, you can rest assured that your exercise statistics are in safe hands. The watch also has more extensive features, like sleep tracking and water resistance of 3 ATM, means you can take it in the shower with you. If the pre-installed fitness features are not exactly your style, the Fossil Gen 5 Juliana has Google Play support, so you can download whatever the initial apps are lacking. Except water resistance, you can't download more water resistance, sadly. The Fossil Gen 5 Juliana also has a plethora of other apps and sensors, including some pretty decent activity trackers. If you go for a hike somewhere in the mountains you won't have to worry about getting lost since the watch has a pre-installed compass, and if you are a nerd like me, there is also the option of a gyroscope. While we are on the topic of hiking, why not try the watch's altimeter and if you are feeling frisky, check out the accelerometer. Receiving phone calls and sending messages are also quite nice capabilities to have, but you can reply to texts with your voice or the touchscreen only if you are an Android user. Sorry iPhone users, 
you guys are limited to only viewing the messages. As for contactless payments? Well, there is Google Pay of course, for both Apple and Android. Not to mention Google Assistant for all your questions, no matter what they are. The always on AMOLED display is also quite a nice addition. But what this watch has that others might lack is the ability to control your smart home devices. Say you're coming home from work on one particularly cold winter night, well, before you arrive you can turn up the heating from your smartwatch and warm up as you enter your cozy little apartment. But what is a smartwatch without its battery? Well the Fossil Gen 5 Juliana honestly has a pretty average one. The battery life will last for around a day, unless you use one of the main saving options, which a lot of watches seem to have nowadays. Not to worry, if that's not your thing, this smartwatch charges pretty fast, reaching 80% in just 50 minutes with its magnetic charger. Well, this is a pretty nice watch. What do you think? This watch has some pretty interesting and unique sensors. If you are really into hiking or even traveling, I would definitely recommend it. At number 5. Fossil Women's Gen 4 Venture. Here we have another watch with style. The Fossil Women's Gen 4 Venture is, frankly speaking, an amazing watch and one of my personal favorites from this list. Its clean, fashionable look gives it the special ability to go with whatever is in your wardrobe, and it can fit on any small wrist. The stylish smartwatch is a relatively small device compared to our other entries. The Fossil Women's Gen 4 Venture comes in various styles including a simple clean-cut design with either a leather or metal band, as well as a slightly more expensive version which comes with embroidered diamonds on the edge of the bezel and on the middle of the wristband itself. Among the colors of the watch and bands, there are also nine more straps that you can buy separately, including a rainbow one, a vintage one, and a camel one. There is a problem with the design or an advantage, depending on your personal preferences. The screen of the smartwatch might be a little too small for some people, and if that turns out to be the case for you, then maybe try out the Fossil Gen 5 Juliana, the entry before this one. The design is great, that's one box checked for an amazing watch. Now, what about the fitness features? Well, the Fossil Women's Gen 4 Venture does fitness as well as it does design. It has a state-of-the-art heart rate monitor as well as a pretty damn good GPS. The smartwatch also has an accelerometer, an altimeter, and a gyroscope. I think we already established that I'm into those geeky things, so that's a big plus for me. The Fossil Women's Gen 4 Venture is powered by Wear OS, so it has Google Fit and all the necessary features. It also has Move Minutes which measure your active time and Hear Points which measure the periods of high intensity. When it comes to activity tracking, this Wear OS watch has a lot of options to choose from, including CrossFit, aerobics, and fencing, as well as some lesser-known sports like handball. There is also an option to designate favorite workouts, so they might be more easily accessible next time you decide to play handball or go backcountry skiing. Even though it has all this, the Fossil Women's Gen 4 Venture is not marketed as a high-end fitness device. That's because it may be lacking some of the more custom and unique fitness features, like those of the Fitbit Versa 2. Even, so I think it supports your workout really damn well. You know what else it does really well? Performance. This watch is so fast that you won't notice any delay when switching between applications. However, if you are an iPhone user you will have to reconnect with an app every time you close it, which admittedly is not particularly bad, but this problem does not exist with Android. Other than fitness features, the Fossil Women's Gen 4 Venture has all the apps you would expect from a device such as this, including Google Pay and Google Music. It also features Google Assistant, but you can't really use the microphone to accept or send calls, which admittedly is a little disappointing. But you can respond to messages either by typing on the watch face or with text-to-speech, not to mention the ever-necessary feature of sending emojis. It should be noted that sending messages only works with Android, again, sorry iPhone users. Time zones, an alarm clock, Google Calendar, and various alerts are also features this well-rounded watch offers. But admittedly the battery is not the best, as it lasts about a day. You can turn off certain notifications, which Fossil says you should do if you want to extend the life of your smartwatch. So with all that, you might be asking yourself why this watch is my favorite. Well, to be completely honest, there are smartwatches on this list that do certain things better than this one. But do not underestimate the Fossil Women's Gen 4 Venture, 
it has a nice stylish design, and in fact I would go as far as to say that it is the best smartwatch for a small wrist. In addition to its damn good fitness features, it's comfortable to wear and fits perfectly on my spaghetti arms. It has great performance, and the inability to receive calls is not a big issue for me. Honestly, I was never a big fan of talking into my watch anyways. But if you are and if you prefer sending calls from your smartwatch rather than your phone, then maybe skip this one. If this isn't a deal breaker for you though, then I would definitely recommend it. At Number 6. Michael Kors Access Gen 4 Sophie. The Michael Kors Access Gen 4 Sophie does not try to do anything too extravagant, and that's what I like about it. Don't get me wrong, the watch is quite elegant and does have the option of embroidered diamonds on the rim of the bezel, after all, this is still Michael Kors. This elegant Wear OS watch is also quite the reasonable size, not too small, not too big. It will fit on most wrists. With a slim frame topped with stainless steel, this smartwatch is suitable to wear no matter where you go, be it in the gym or the office. It will fit perfectly in every environment and with every outfit, due to its classic design, which resembles more a traditional watch than anything else. The smartwatch has a variety of colors and a beautiful watch face. However, the one thing that truly makes this watch shine is actually the company behind it. On release, the Michael Kors Access Gen 4 Sophie was missing quite a lot of features, but the company listened to all the criticisms and updated the smartwatch accordingly. Although the Michael Kors Access Gen 4 Sophie may not look like your typical sports watch, it does have some pretty good features. You can take advantage of Google Fit and Move Minutes, as well as Heart Points, which are easily accessible and can be adapted to meet your goals. With the built-in untethered GPS you can track your movement even if you leave your phone behind, and its extraordinary optical heart rate monitor means you have even more workout statistics to analyze. But I will let you discover those on your own. If for some reason you can't get a GPS signal, which does happen at times, you can use the watch's accelerometer to track your movement. The Michael Kors Access Gen 4 Sophie also has a water resistance of up to 30 meters. So you can go for a quick swim, but again, I would still not recommend diving into the Marianas Trench. With all that being said, this watch does activity tracking really well, but it is not meant for fitness enthusiasts. Instead, it caters to those who are seeking to simply stay in shape or to engage in more casual workout routines. So keep that in mind when considering whether or not you should get this smartwatch. Apart from fitness tracking, this watch also has Google Pay, Google Assistant, and Google Play, among all the other pre-installed apps that come with a Wear OS device. The NFC payment system is easily accessible from the home screen and works seamlessly. Other apps, however, may not work as well. The watch is not the fastest out there, and if you get too many notifications at once the Michael Kors Access Gen 4 Sophie has a tendency to freeze up a bit. But don't let that discourage you since you can turn most notifications off if you prefer. The smartwatch also has Google Assistant and you can receive as well as send calls and texts. But where the Gen 4 Sophie really shines is with its custom features. This watch really has that Michael Kors flair to it after all. There are numerous customizable watch faces, including animated ones. You can even set a photo from your Facebook or Instagram as a face. Not to mention that you can set the watch face to change with night and day, as well as set a countdown to a big event on the front, be it a birthday, Christmas, for which I personally can't wait because yes, I am a Christmas fanatic, or even custom events of your choice. These may be little additions, but it's the small things that make a device truly great. So, is the Michael Kors Access Gen for Sophie worth buying? Well, with all the customizable watch faces and Wear OS apps as well as above-average fitness features like its heart rate monitor, I would say yes. Although it might not have been worth it on release since it was missing some key elements, it's definitely worth it now if you are looking for a customizable style mixed in with good apps for the casual fitness enthusiast.